You're listening to episode two of the Jefferson County Development Authority podcast, where business feels at home, with host Ryan Snyder and special guests Aaron Howell and David Dalton. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the second episode of the Jefferson County Development Authority's podcast, Where Business Feels at Home. My name is Ryan Snyder. I'm the Agriculture Development Coordinator here with the JCDA, and I'm uh, joined today with uh, two representatives of the Bank of Charlestown, and I will let them introduce themselves. Uh, hi, Ryan. Thanks for having us. Uh, I am Aaron Howe. I'm a Community Banking Executive for BCT uh, here in the uh, Eastern Panhandle. Hi, Ryan. Um, I am David Dalton. I am a Commercial Loan Officer, specifically here in, in Jefferson County, my office here in uh, Charlestown. Awesome. Uh, if you guys don't mind, you could kind of tell us a little bit about yourselves, how you guys got uh, started in banking, and, and a little bit more about what you guys do at BCT. Sure thing. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to share. And um, it's, it's, been, it's been great for me. I, I started out uh, back in 2006 with the bank, and it's been uh, going on 17 years now uh, here in March. Uh, just been working my way in the banking business. Uh, started out on the branch side of things, really helped out a lot with that. Then when the recession hit, uh, ended up doing a lot with foreclosures and uh, workouts, and that led me into commercial area, which I've been in the commercial lending area for about 13 years. I was actually just recently looking at one of my previous uh, loan memos from one of the first ones I did. I, I pulled that out of a file the other day. So uh, it's been 13 years and uh, just uh, I'm, in, I'm involved um, here uh, at the bank with um, the market here in the Eastern Panhandle as well as our, our Maryland office. Uh, I do commercial lending there as well as help support the team and however they need it. Um, so I graduated from Shepherd College um, back in 1992. And there soon after, I started my banking career in November of 92. So I've been a little over 30 years now in banking. Uh, sound a little bit like Aaron. I was in the uh, branch side of things, branch manager, um, doing lending pretty much the whole time. I've been with the Bank of Charlestown over 10 years now, uh, primarily in the commercial lending. I uh, do uh, small business loans um, for, for local businesses. And again, my office is here in uh, Charlestown in, in Jefferson County. That's awesome. Um, you mentioned small business. Uh, small business is one of the things that the Jefferson County Development Authority is uh, taking a look at and trying to see uh, where we can fit in and, and help folks in the small business world get started. I know uh, you guys do a really good job of that um, as a SBA preferred lender. Uh, if you guys are able to talk a little bit about that, I think that our audience might be interested in, in some of those details. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the heart of BCT is giving back to the community, and, and a big part of our community is small business. And we, you know, we learned through a lot, uh, you know, over the years, that's, that's, that's really all we do is small businesses. And we learned through that time that a lot of people don't have the relationships that are in these small businesses unless they're with a community bank. Uh, that became evident through the PPP process. And we realized the need that's out there with SBA. And so we started an initiative back in, um, I guess that was 2021, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, with the SBA. We brought on some really skilled uh, folks there. We brought on three people that have well over 30 years in SBA experience. And they were able to help us get uh, what is preferred lender status. And that means that basically you come to us for an SBA loan, we are able to go through the process completely uh, without having to go to the SBA for approval. The SBA gave us delegated authority uh, to do that. And there's there's only, uh, uh, I think, I don't want to be incorrect in saying this, but I think there's only, uh, we're the only community bank in West Virginia, I believe based in West Virginia, that has PLP status right now. You know, one of the things where the SBA helps us a lot is, um, again, with small businesses, uh, with conventional financing, um, you know, there, there's requirements for down payment. We want to see three years of tax returns, that kind of stuff. Where the SBA helps us is to mitigate some risk that we, that we might have. You know, as we understand with, with startup businesses, there's a risk with that from the bank standpoint. And partnering with the SBA mitigates the bank's risk. So it's a, it's a great partnership with the SBA. Um, one of the programs is an SBA 504, which allows um, uh, owner-occupied businesses to buy properties with less money down than what conventional bank financing typically requires. So it's, it gives us just another error in our quiver that we have a request that maybe historically we, we didn't feel comfortable with because of the risk. And now with the, the partnership that we've formed with the SBA, just being able to do a lot more loan for small businesses, um, which is what we want to do. The last thing we want to do is not help small businesses for whatever reason. And, and this has certainly been a, a great partnership for us and uh, very successful. Uh, one of the things that you guys mentioned earlier was uh, community support and, and small business support, and, and I think that's uh, one of the reasons why Bank of Charlestown has been around for over 100 years in, in the Jefferson County community. Um, 
We're also very proud to say that uh, you guys have partnered with us as an official bank sponsor of our um, uh, small business launch initiative called Jumpstart Jefferson. Uh, for those that don't know, Jumpstart Jefferson is a, uh, a five-week educational series in which I think you guys uh, might be doing a little bit of educating for us as well, um, where um, uh, new or uh, existing small businesses located in Jefferson County uh, can apply into the program. Uh, the first 15 applicants are going to be accepted. Um, it starts with a five-week educational course. We'll, uh, small, small business owners or entrepreneurs will learn uh, about business planning, banking, finance, credit, marketing, um, all the tools that they need in their tool belt, really, to launch a successful small business. And then after that educational series, hopefully they've got everything in their bag ready to go. They'll put together a business plan and pitch before a panel of judges uh, in the hopes to win a, uh, up to a $5,000 grant. Uh, and we are... Uh, Real excited to have uh, BCT along with us on that journey. Uh, if you guys uh, could talk a little bit about um, what excited you guys about Jumpstart Jefferson and uh, made you guys kind of want to participate with us on that at the next level. Uh, yeah, it was it was uh, an easy choice for us to be involved. And I, I, I when I looked at the program and uh, they, I was, I'm actually speaking on the, the credit section as well, I was able to really talk through it and understand more about you know what's giving back to this to the community. So you have those fifteen businesses, uh, or suppose you know uh, people that are looking to start a business in the area, and it's good for you for those businesses to have those resources. And that's sometimes where um, where there's a lacking. So people will come to us with an idea, and you know they're not they're not quite ready for financing. And we're you know this kind of program sets them up to be able to put together their idea, put together their plan. Uh, and, you know, we're able to help with kind of what the bank would be looking for in those situations. And that way it sets them up for more success. And we like to be able to be a behind that because it's it makes everything flow a lot better. Small business is a backbone of the community. And get, being able to start more businesses in the area uh, is just uh, going to be overwhelmingly successful for everyone. And, and it just became an easy uh, opportunity for us to say, yes, we wanted to get behind that because of our, our initiatives in the area. Uh, so do you guys feel that, uh, uh, and I think you kind of touched on this already, but the, the kind of the educational component um, of this program and then getting folks the exposure in, in business pitching and kind of, you know, defending their baby, if you will, in front of a group, a group of judges, um, do you guys feel that that um, helped prepare small businesses for uh, being you know, being involved in the in the real world and, and operating their business and getting uh and really getting started and, and getting somebody to kind of that bankable point, which I know I guess you guys have probably seen a few people come to you with some ideas that aren't aren't quite bankable yet. Right, and, and that's true. And I think this program will help you know eliminate some maybe some of the friction because, like Aaron said, people come in and they've got great ideas. It's in their head, but they have never taken the time to write it down. And you know, we as bankers, you know, we want to see you know that they've taken the time to develop a plan and. Um, really thought it through, and, and, and sometimes when they do that, it, it maybe it's not as successful money-wise as they think, and I think this is just an exercise that they should be doing before they come to the bank, because again, when they come in, if they don't have anything, a business plan, haven't really run the numbers, you know, basically we're, we're going to tell them what we need, and again, it, I think it avoids that, that friction there that we're like asking for things, so I think this program is, is, is ideal, no matter who the winner is, the, I think all the businesses will benefit um, from it because, again, I think they've thought it through. They've got it written down. Uh, and when they come to the bank, it's, you know, tied up in a bow, and, and we know what they want, how much they need. You know, sometimes they'll say, you know, clients will say, well, I need anywhere from two hundred to 400000 Well, that's a big, that's a big nut, yeah. you know. And, and so we try to help them, but we're, we're not very good at putting together a business plan to be honest with you. I mean, we're in the finance side. We look at the numbers. You know, where you guys are helping and where this program is going to help is that business plan that certainly is going to help. Uh, it's a win-win for them and for the bank that they have come down, they have their thought, they know how much they need, they know what they want the money for. Um, and I think it's, it's just a great program. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's that added bonus. So you, I realize there's one winner at the end, mm -hmm. right, that gets, that gets the money, that, which that's a huge um, that that amount of money to be able to start out is huge for them, and that's going to that's going to be helped because that's a lot of uh, where the businesses come from too. Is is a lot of the startups don't have as much capital to start out with, so that's going to be uh, a huge part of it. But the other fourteen businesses that are that are going to be 
have a good plan ready to go is also going to be a good start for them as well. And to be able to, you know, you talk about the pitch to us or the pitch to, you know, they, they're going to be able to even pitch it to you know, family members or whoever else that could be investors for their business. And I, I think that's just adds to the value of what, what's being brought here. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, that's something that we, we set out to do when we started, uh, toying around with the idea of launching this program is being able to put together something that uh, helps folks get all the tools that they need to get uh, to get where they need to go in their uh, their entrepreneurship journey. Um, so, well, we're we're happy to have uh, Bank of Charlestown along on the Jumpstart Jefferson journey with us again as the uh, official banking sponsor of Jumpstart. Um, we're really excited to see uh, where this partnership can take us and uh, what this program can do in the future. Um, if you're interested in participating in Jumpstart Jefferson. Um, all of the information for Jumpstart, including the registration link, uh, is on our website at jcda.net. Uh, and check out our social media for announcements as Jumpstart comes along. I uh, want to thank you guys again for joining us. And we had a really great conversation here today. And once again, we're just glad to have you guys along with us uh, on this entrepreneurship journey. Great. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. You've been listening to Episode 2 of the Jefferson County Development Authority Podcast, where business feels at home with your host, Ryan Snyder, and special guests, Aaron Howe and David Dalton. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed are the speaker's own and do not represent the views, thoughts, and opinions of the Where Business Feels at Home podcast or the Jefferson County Development Authority. Material and information presented here is for general information purposes 